you're leveling it from one high point to the other high point. Yeah. You're not taking into consideration all that. You could say, yeah, that's nice and level, but then when you take the level away and the water's on, the water will find all those bellies. Yep. And it'll flow out of there first instead of across it completely. Now that I've got that level, you can look and see valley, valley. I can doctor those up just a little call up. And I like what you were saying about making the outer edge the high point, not the inner edge. Right, because that's the final place where the water spills. I yeah. don't need it back here. Yeah. I need it out there. And that's another mistake that people will make. They'll, they'll level it where it's not really necessary for it to be level. Yeah, you want the whole ledge to be pooled up a little bit. So when people sit on it, it's like nice and cool stuff. Right. And if the water on the weir gathers here first yeah that's fine the other water will catch up yeah and then it will go off there right? removing tool marks and brushing are important steps in your finishing operations it is vital to remove any tailings or overburden that could possibly dry in place and break off at another time leaving behind an unpainted area Brush all your crumbles away. Remember, you do not have to do this immediately. Brushing too early can leave brush marks and inadvertently blend them back into the surface, resulting in a loss of your crispy edges and so forth. Try not to forget about your window of opportunity. Timing is everything. One last thing to consider is paying attention to where those crumbles are going. Sometimes they can gather in cracks and ledges down below, which can yield some beautiful effects, if it is wanted. That effect is called sloughed dirt or mud. We will discuss that another time. It's really hard to see this one because I can't look down on it because of all these damn plants. Good. When the time is right, remember the fingerprint tip, you can begin cutting into the surface and breaking away some pieces and see what is revealed. Sometimes when a big piece breaks away, I will take advantage of it and key off of it, as you can see here. Deep cuts can become little fractures and vice versa. Don't be in a hurry to remove the tailings. There is plenty of time for that, and let's not forget, an air nozzle can clean an area up in seconds flat. Always cover your work with canvas. Slow cure your work and miss lightly on occasion to prevent cracking. This is why I like canvas because it holds water, unlike plastic. You can find painting information on our website at www.carverite.com. Don't forget to check out our DVDs, our VODs, which are videos on demand, and learn about our Carverite sculpting medium. I hope you enjoyed watching this educational video as much as I did making it. Thanks again.